Hi, my name is Chip Brown. I teach computer programming and Microsoft Office applications at Stephen Senninger College here in Utah. I also create practice tests for Microsoft, Microsoft Office certification tests. Today we're going to learn how to insert a picture, a graph, or other Microsoft Office document into a Microsoft Office Access database. Microsoft Access is a registered trademark of Microsoft Corporation. I am not affiliated with Microsoft Corporation. To introduce the concept of how to insert a picture, graph, or Microsoft Office document into an Access database, it is essential to understand the concept of an OLE object. OLE is an acronym O-L-E. It stands for Object Linking and Embedding. Let me show you how to create a field that you can add an OLE object into. First, click on the Create tab, and we go into Design View. Name our field file, and here in the Data Type drop-down, choose OLE object. Save it. Let's go into the Design View. Now. This is literally a field in which we can insert an OLE object. These are the different types of registered OLE objects, or reg registered uh, OLE servers that can handle various object types. And this is where we choose from the list where we would choose a picture or a graph or Microsoft Office document or anything else in this list. For example, let's choose a picture. We'll say a bitmap image. We click OK and instantly the application that is the server for that OLE object type begins. And as you can see it's referenced as the bitmap image in table 6. This is not referencing a file on our hard drive, this is actually referencing the OLE object embedded inside our database. So here we would create our image, we'd exit out of the application and it's saved automatically here. If we double click on that, it will go back into that OLE server, that application, and put you in edit mode. Let's create another one. This time, let's insert a chart. This is a sample chart. It's, as you can see, it's Microsoft uh, Graph that is running here, and it puts up this sample chart, and we can change the under underlying data to make it automatically change. And when we exit, that's embedded and saved inside this field. Let's see if we can insert a regular document, let's say a Microsoft Excel chart. And uh, we can click on this and there's a Microsoft Excel chart. We click on Sheet 1 and this is the data. This is just sample data that it provides us. We can obviously modify all this and save it and exit out. So now if we ever go back into any of these we double click on that field and there's our object with its current edits. The OLA server is automatically invoked and opens up this object which is embedded inside our database as you can see, the, the values are all there, still present, that we made changes to. And again, this is not tied to your file system at all. This is all self-embedded inside the database. When you save this database file and its MDB file, it is separate. And you don't have any other files associated with this. It's all embedded right here. The one last thing I want to explain is that there's a difference between this concept of an OLE object and that of an attachment. Let's create another field to our table. This time instead of OLE object we're now going to choose attachment and save that. Go into datasheet view. This is the attachment field. There's a definite difference between this field and an OLE object field. The OLE object field will invoke the OLE server whereas the attachment field actually does attach to a file on your hard drive. 
And so it would literally go into an add attachments and you would choose, for example, a database and, or excuse me, a spreadsheet and then click OK. Now that means that that field, that file is attached to this. It's a different association and you have to double click it and it goes into that file. It's slightly different than an Olay embedded object, but there are two different ways that you can insert a picture or a graph into your database. And so you can use that with pictures and so on and add that. I'll just go ahead and cancel all of that because this is another way of adding files. You can add them through an attachment field or you can add them through an Olay object field. This is if you have the file on, on your hard drive, your disk drive. This is if you are okay with embedding that information directly in your database. For any more information on this, you can look up in your help on OLA objects and attachments, and or you can visit chipbrown.com. That's chipbrown, B-R-O-W-N-E, dot com.